it can be seen as a conflict, but it can also be setting a boundary. Boundaries are something that I've worked really hard to create for myself to know what's best for me. Today's topic is kind of a serious one, and maybe that's why I'm laughing. Uh, it's what happens when you say no. I'm, I've never been a pleaser, and I've never been a pleaser, but I've always wanted people to like me in the past. And that's something that I've had to put a lot of work and effort into, especially as an empath and someone who feels a lot, is wanting to have other people like me. And that's something that I had since in elementary school and especially throughout high school and as humans we have a basic need to be accepted and liked and loved it's called connection it's one of the six basic human needs when we say no to people right that creates a little bit of a separation can create a little bit of a conflict and there's a lot of things that feed into that I'm gonna to go to a situation uh, that specifically has this topic being brought up for me. I recently have, we're here in Santa Fe, Mexico City, as I said, I something happens when I move, when I travel, uh, things shift, and that's part of what live free through movement and choice is about. When you're moving, it's not just physical exercise, it's also moving yourself. And what happens when you change environments and you change your surroundings, including people. I have recently said no or questioned uh, through some really hard emails and messages and I wouldn't say confrontations because it can be seen as a conflict but it can also be setting a boundary. Boundaries are something that I've worked really hard to create for myself to know what's best for me. I want to keep peace around me, of course, that's part of being a warrior, is keeping peace but yet setting boundaries for self. So knowing a fine balance between having boundaries and right? also being a kind person, but also knowing when to say no. There's a lot of things that are exciting to me that are building to something that require time and effort and energy. The short of that, I've said no to certain things because it doesn't align with where I want to be. Now that's a boundary that I'm setting up and I meet halfway and I feel that that is a good middle point. Sometimes meeting halfway is not good enough for other people. Now what happens on that end, right, the receiving end, that's a reflection of whatever they have going on. That's something that us warriors need to separate ourselves from. Because if we get into how they're feeling, are they going to like us, what's going to happen, that's going to cloud our vision and our choice. That's when we go into doubt and we start to wonder and we start to question. And that's what keeps us up at 2 a.m. in the middle of the night and we start to overthink things. I'm not saying I am free of this. I'm saying I'm working on it. This has actually happened last night. And it's going back to the why. Why am I choosing this path to set a boundary, to say no? And being okay with the what, what the outcome is, right? There's always multiple outcomes. You can't foresee all of them, but knowing that I might lose this opportunity. Okay, I need to be okay with that. Or perhaps it's completely fine and they don't care at all that I'm not going to this event. That's another possibility. And there's probably another hundred in between. One of those outcomes is gonna happen, I don't know yet, but I need to be comfortable with my choice that I said no. The other thing that happens when you say no, it challenges people on the receiving end. They may not like that because you're saying no to something that they either love, that they are doing, or they are passionate for. This happened when I stopped teaching and I still get messages from people asking me if I can do privates, if I can teach, where they can catch my class. I'm, like, I'm not teaching anymore actually. And they're like, oh. I, someone actually just messaged me from New York. I'm gonna be down from our Basel. I would love to take your class, always enjoyed it. And I wrote her back and said, you know, I'm actually not teaching if you wanna meet up. Here's what I'm up to. I'd love to catch up, have a coffee. Never heard back from her. Maybe I challenged that I don't wanna teach yoga. I have no idea. 
I can't take responsibility for that, but I know I feel comfortable with my choice. Once again, I need to be strong in my choice, not doubt my decision, but be okay that the outcome, I might never hear back from these people. That's also not on my end too. I can't hold people's expectation of what they're looking for. So what happens when you say no, warriors, we don't always know what the outcome is gonna be. What we do know is we need to be solid within our own core to know why we're saying no, to be empowered by, we made this choice, be the outcome awesome, be the outcome, hmm, what can I learn from this, right? And then keep moving forward with it so we don't get stuck in that circle of doubt and go back. So what happens when we say no? Well, I said no. And guess what? I feel good about me. And I hope you do too. I hope this was helpful, Warriors, because this certainly has helped me. It helps me to share with you, reinforcing why I'm doing what I'm doing and the message of living free. What I'm doing, why I'm doing, and the message of living free through empowered choice and movement. Vamos al desayuno, porque tengo mucho hambre y hay mucha fruta allá también.